Hi, welcome back to the garden. Look what came. The other day we saw a couple little bugs. We thought we might need a little more help. So let's go ahead and get these in the tomatoes. I think all I have to do is just open this up and walk around. They're definitely taking off. Boy, they sure do tickle. <laughs> they do tickle. They're everywhere. <laughs> kind of flick them off. They'll go right where you need them to go. We had some aphids take over a few of the cabbages and some of the brassicas early on. We want to make sure we don't lose them this time. Now I think we've got them all released. Now, I don't have to worry about aphids or the little white flies. At least not for a couple days. You can do this too. <laughs> I had them all over me a minute ago. <laughs> Gotta love being out in the garden. Well, I think that's all I'm going to do for tonight. We'll be back out in the garden tomorrow. I hope you join me for that. Well, hi, there you are. Welcome to the garden. Come on, let's do the hardest work we're ever going to do. Let's pick. It's about time. I brought out the moringa tree to harden in. It's in the shade now, but it's going to get some sun. But I thought it could hang out with the basil. It's doing really well. But I wanted you to see what we do with the basil looking at this purple one. Now, right here, it's trying to flower which is wonderful, but it's too early for what we want it to do. So what we're going to do is come down here to where it splits, and I'm just going to pinch that flower out. Now it's going to go ahead and continue to bush out, and I'm going to take that in, and I'm going to use it in the kitchen. We've got a couple here that are doing that. So let me pinch these out real quick, and that's part of your harvest. You can eat these. These are wonderful. Well, look at that. There's a little bitty okra right there. Flowers, another little bitty okra. There's three on this one. Our first okra, that is wonderful. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> this is why we do it. Because it tastes great. You know me and thinning stuff out. Well, I broke the bottom of that one off. That'd still be really good eating. Let's see if we got anything else in here. No. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> there you go. I didn't break that one off. I think we got oh, we got a couple in here. Let's take the top off of that one. Cut and drop. That whatever <laughs> it goes on down in there. Jeez Louise. Like I said, this is the hardest work you're gonna do is harvesting. There you go. There's four to draw to. See if we got anything in this patch. Okay, these kind of pop up out of the ground, give you a nice little handle. <laughs> Gotta love a daikon radish. You know, I cooked one of these up the other night. It's very, very good. First year we've ever had them. I'm gonna leave this top out here in the garden also. Just cut and drop. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, yesterday I found our first pickle. Today I found our first cucumber. <laughs> wow. The hardest work you're ever going to have to do in the garden is harvesting. You put a little patience in and look what you get. Oh, the squash is coming on nice. Let's get... Now I think we got a day or two on this one. It's just about the right size. But I know we got some crook neck. Now that is gorgeous. 
see what else we have. Wow, that's great. Oh, we got a nice one down in here we were looking at yesterday. Beautiful. That is a perfect size. I think we got another one right over here. Now that is great. We were looking at this one yesterday where we got the Swiss chard right next to it. I think it's big enough today. Look at that. Great. Look at that color on that. Hershoe, I believe is how you say it. And they're supposed to get 18 inches, 20 pounds. I do have to figure out some way to support this today. That is huge. All right, let's go see if we got any more squash to pick. And we've got a Texas pumpkin coming on right here. Thank you, Valerie. It looks like we've got a banana pepper that's ready to come in. We've got a couple other ones that are close. Well, maybe just one. This one bent a little bit, but I'm going to let it grow just a little more. The hot banana peppers. So I'm going to mix it in with what I have in here, and we'll find out which one's which. But you notice these are growing straight up. The other ones were growing straight down. I am so excited. Look at this. we got little flowers. Check this out. That's my sweet Mad Hatter. We overwintered these, and I didn't think it was going to survive. And when I planted it, it was iffy. But this is doing great, and I've got two more back here. Ooh, got a, another one right here. And another one right here. Oh, this thing's going to be loaded. I'm very excited. All right, I need some help from the community. This is buckwheat. I've never grown it or harvested it, but it's obviously done its thing. I want to be able to save these seeds. If anybody knows how to do this, please leave a comment down below. While we're in the peppers, let's take a look at this one that snapped itself off down here at the node. It's already branching out very well. It's got a couple little spots on a couple leaves. I'm just going to go ahead and pinch a couple of these leaves off that are really damaged. That won't hurt it at all. It'll also help it grow a little bit. But I thought you might be interested in seeing that controversy between pruning a pepper or not. This is doing very well. For anybody that says growing in a bag is not a good way to grow, we put this pepper in this bag along with this marigold and they're doing just fine. I'm going to be able to take several peppers off of this one. I think these are what they're calling the hot banana peppers. So do I have the guts to do this? This is why we do it. This tastes awesome. And there's nothing hot about that. That is just a nice sweet pepper. You can do this too. Let's go see if there's any more squash to pick. Oh. <laughs> These are great. One next to it's just a little small and the refrigerator is getting full, so I'm going to leave that a day. See what else we got. Oh my gosh. You got to come here and see this. Look at that. I got a wolf spider protecting this one. These dark green ones hide in here so well. We've got a little one that we're going to leave. Let's take this big one first. Look at that. That's what we were waiting for. All right, I got a couple more in here. Let's get them all. Sorry, Mr. Spider. That's off the second plant down here. Look at that. And then we got another one tucked in here. Oh, we got three or four little ones coming on. Ooh. Check out our helper. If we were spraying a lot, we wouldn't have hel helpers like that down in here helping us control the bugs. I just hope they don't eat too many of our ladybugs. That's why we do it, because this stuff tastes great. Now, as full as the refrigerator is, this one's still got a nice flower on it. It just got pollinated. In about two days, that's going to be the perfect size. So we're going to go ahead and leave that one out here. So we didn't fill this up. But I think we had a pretty nice little harvest. And yeah, you might say that wasn't a whole lot of work. But we had to dig down in here. You don't want to damage your plants. And it's just started. You can do this too. And if you want to learn a little bit more about the deep mulch, click that link right there and I'll meet you back in the garden. If you want to learn about the living soil, click that link right there and I'll meet you back in the garden. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.